This month is 26 years with Louise, and we had a pretty good summer and a pretty good fall together, and I took a lot of pictures, and here's the best of it all glued together. In the background, I'm listening to uh, a CD I bought in Paris, uh, the Sacre Coeur, which is the massive cathedral at the top of the hill called Montmartre, and I went up there and with a tour group, and we toured the place, and we were all crying, so the next day I went back and mimed asking for a CD of the music and it was I must have looked like an idiot anyway back to the video this is uh, that was Louise getting out of the pool and here she is in bed being very cute underneath her blanket while I put sticky notes all over my atlas and look at the guided scenic roads directions that I've pasted in I got from Kevin Adams's book and from Department of Transportation I was bed-bound for a while, so I watched a lot of TV and read a lot of books. Louise kept me company, and on our anniversary, we watched Jurassic World, which was terrible, but you got to watch Jurassic World with a reptile in the bed. I just bought her a topo map of the Smoky Mountains. Here she was checking it out. This was the day she shed, and the sun was hitting her, and right after she shed, she has this incredible sheen. There's a tiny bit of oil on her skin. Yes, there really is such a thing as snake oil, just trace, trace amounts. But when the sun was hitting her, she had this magical rainbow blue and green effect there. This is her drinking. This is video. This is not a still photo. If you stare very closely at the bottom of her jaw, at her throat, you can see the sucking motion. This is how you know Louise is hungry. She goes into Brian's bedroom and she tries to get the door open. She licks her way up the door and finds the doorknob and eventually climbs on it. Except on this day, she was distracted by the mirror. She's always looking in mirrors. Uh, this is video. She was climbing the door. The, the light that you're seeing going across the doorway like that, I have a thing called a rainbow maker. And it's a solar-powered uh, little device. It sticks to the window and has crystals underneath it. And when the light hits it, it starts to power the little motors that turn the crystals. And it sends these little rainbows all around the room. And it lasts as long as there's direct sunlight. This is a poster that I brought back from Louisa's old house. And she had it in her room and she recognized it and spent some time looking at a big hello. Uh, not long ago, Jenny Lawson's book came out, and I spent a lovely afternoon in the backyard reading it while Louise hung out in the bird bath, sniffing all the bird feet. She had a really good time. Brian was out there raking leaves, and Louise was very nice and warm in the sun and enjoying licking every single leaf in the backyard one by one. She got pretty funny. At one point, I we had a leaf pile, and I covered her in leaves and here she is on video slowly working her way out and when she gets excited and she's happy she sticks her tongue out a lot farther than normal so that's how you can tell whether or not she's happy and here she was finally her head pops out at the end and her tongue was going bonkers where is she there's a little nose and she was pretty happy, and then she slept. Anyway, 26 years, 